So within our learning experience, we're um, learning about the Vikings and them invading Britain and um, of course Edward the, the Confessor's reactions to it. So it involves um, history and literacy. Outcome of this experience is to write a story about Edward the Confessor and the two winning people are going to get their books professionally published. And I hope that's me! <laughs> In order to write our story, we've had to do posters about Edward the Confessor. Here's some of them. three, Edward the Confessor was born and he, he was watching 10 years of the Viking Raiders. Vim Forbid takes the throne from Edward's father, so Edward go, flies to Normandy with his father. Swen dies and Edward goes back to England. Edward's father, Ethelred, is king now. Unfortunately, um, Ethelred Ethel dies and um, Sven's son, Knut, becomes king. So, and, and that's because um, Edward and Knut fight for the throne, but Knut unfortunately wins the fight. And um, Edward has to go back to Normandy for 25 years. Sadly, Knut, Knut dies and Edward's half-brother becomes king again. Edward's half-brother calls Edward back to come back from England. Edward's half-brother says when he dies, Edward the Confessor can come become king. And one year later, his brother dies and Edward becomes king. So the Vikings are people who still burn houses down and um, slaughter. Um, and they come from three different countries. Norway, Sven, Sven Sweden and Denmark. Um, and seriously, they're not very nice people. They are mean and they're selfish. Well, why why did the Vikings raid anyway? Um, because they thought it was fun. So what did they raid for? Um, they raided for um, gold, silver, slaughter and slaves. Did they do anything to the buildings? Uh, they burnt them down. So they couldn't live? Yeah. In clean stuff? Yeah. So that's bad. Very, very bad. What happened when the Vikings came? When they raided? When they raided. And um, what, um, when they raided, um, what were the people supposed to do? People might have got frightened and then run away, but um, they got captured and maybe become slaved or killed. Didn't they even, didn't they become, become kid, didn't they get kidnapped? Yeah, so they become slaved, slaves, you know. And they're very, very brutal men. They, oh, it's me, smell it. There's no more burning house down, but most importantly, there's no blood or people lying on the floor. But even importantly, there's no Vikings. What a relief. Yeah, and we have green, green grass everywhere. Why wouldn't anyone want to live here? Hi guys, Hi guys. Um, um, well, well, this week we've been learning about loads about Vikings and we're now doing our own raid on Woodpeckers Year 6. We're allowed to um, kidnap people and we're allowed to steal things and knock over chips on this sweet people. We plundered, we slaughtered. These are some of the things we stole. I found a death diary and in it there is a prayer book from the saints we slaughtered. I found this classic yeah, it looks a bit like a diamond. I found some. I found this thing. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I think it's a pencil. What was it? 
And I stole an emerald! And I stole the sauce! <laughs> oh, oh, and we stole some winnings. Yeah. Yeah. And we... Oh, one of the seats we stole really Because we burnt their house down. I was, How do you feel? I was devastated when I saw that. Why did you even... Why did you guys even, like... I agree. Um, so, do you think it's right to um, get paid for Viking the Dane game? Uh, I don't think it is right because um, if you pay them, it's a waste of money and you won't be able to pay um, things you need in life like money, medical supplies, houses, and um, uh, things like that. And also, um, if you if the Vikings come to you and they and you turn up with no money and they say give me your um, dengue then you'll just have to say I don't have any and then they'll kill you because you don't have any to give and um, also um, if you don't if you pay them the dengue then um, you so as I said you 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 won't have any medical supplies or anything like that and that will look also increase your um, chances of like surviving. True. This is my story opening for Edward the Confessor. It was the day I returned that I saw my worst nightmares become reality. My heavy red heart sank like quicksand. Would they come back? My hands were shaking in fear. My eyes changed colour from black to deep, deep red. For I was burning in my soul. Would they return? My knees fell to the ground as I stared in shock at the devastated place. This was worse than any of my deepest fears. My mouth was breathless to speak. My heart lost hope. My head was filled with worries. I was heartbroken. Would, what would become of my home? Um, in my opening, I've used, um, I've used like, I haven't like, I made it unclear. Um, so that the reader doesn't know what's going to happen, so they ask questions. Like, for example, um, would they come back? You wouldn't know who came back, and um, you didn't know, you won't, you wouldn't know, so you'd be asking loads of questions. I've also written um, um, that I saw my worst nightmares become reality. You would be asking what, what was my, what was my nightmare, and so you'd be asking loads of questions. I've also put um, loads of rhetorical questions, so they would have like, so they would want to read on to to find out their answers of their question. Um, I put some loads of punctuation in, and um, I've put ellipses, so it, it so it creates tension. Learning about describing the characters, I'm going to show you my um, describing the characters. So. A beastly dragon pushed through the crowd onto the battlefield and charged towards me from a deathly blow. He had the tank face out with bloody from fighting and the spear flew, flew straight up into the air and it was covered with stone blow. I said, please stop Raiden, we've had, a, uh, had enough. I pleaded calmly. My legs started to fall and my hands started to shake as I waited for his reply. No, we will not stop Raiden, we will continue. Like they say, you'll never get rid of the thing. The Viking said wishfully to me, 
viciously to me with a piercing stare. As I'm king now and everyone agrees, I'm not going to let the powerful Viking trust this game. We've had enough. Um, so um, I've described how what the character feels like and who the character is and what they was doing. This is my describing the setting paragraph. Suddenly I could see something in the distance. It was the Vikings. A beastly dragon barred through the battlefield and charged towards me. There was polluted Vikings with their bloody swords. There were arrows. The deputation of the leaping arrows in the sky made the people in the village flee. The noise was a high-pitched piercing noise, like a sharp scream. My heart pounded. I whimpered. My hand quivered. What's going to happen? I've used short, short, snappy sentences so it brings like the reader in, so they're like really interested. So, um, so I've got a, um, so what I'm doing is some um, speech, um, so inverted commas and dialogue, and in this I've put, say, Vi Vikings, um, Edward Yeld. And um, and um, that and I put that in capitals to show that he's really yelling really loudly. So and I've got um, you, uh, you can do it. I, I wasn't the king. I thought I could be. It's all down to you. With um, I put that as um, Edward's half brother, Harza Canute, because he's saying that he couldn't deal with the Vikings, and yeah. We all absolutely enjoyed um, doing the Vikings today, um, and so these guys because we've learned a lot from it, and yeah. I hope I win. I hope I win. I hope I win.